हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू शेट विद्या मंदिर ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स नाउ लेट अस कंटिन्यू विथ रिटायरमेंट ऑफ पार्टनर दिस इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ द सीरीज लेट्स डू दिस सम द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ अनु रेनु एंड दीनू इज एज फॉलोज द पार्टनर्स आर शेयरिंग प्रॉफिट्स एंड लॉसेज इन द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ टू एस टू टू एस टू वन सो द ओल्ड रेशियो इज गिवेन टू अस बैलेंस शीट इज गिवेन टू अस लेट अस सी द एडजस्टमेंट्स Dinu retires from the firm on 1st April 2019 on the following terms the assets are to be revalued as freehold property 30000 now see freehold in the balance sheet 27 and now it is 30 that means appreciation of 3000 machinery now is 5000 earlier machinery was 4000 so appreciation of 1000 furniture 12000 earlier furniture was 15000 so depreciation of 3000 okay so you will add or deduct as the case may be in the asset side and second effect revaluation account all debtors are good that means rdd is not required so decrease in liability so revaluation account credit side and here there would be no rdd shown in the new balance sheet The goodwill of the firm is to be valued at thrice the average profit for preceding five years. Profits of five years are given to you. Find the total profit, average profit, and then find out the amount of goodwill. And goodwill is given in the old balance sheet, so the difference will go to revaluation account. Dinu should be paid rupees three thousand by cheque, and the balance will be kept in the business as loan. prepare profit and loss adjustment account capital accounts of partners and balance sheet of the new firm okay so let us start the sum so let's start the sum here i have prepared profit and loss adjustment account or revaluation account partners capital account all three partners annu renu and dinu and the balance sheet as on 1st april 2019 okay so first let us start with the balance sheet bank account bank account is given as 5000 rupees okay so we'll write that later just write key right bank and leave it as it is then you have debtors is there any adjustment to debtors yes because all the debtors are good so do not write anything just leave it for some some time after debtors you have machinery now you have furniture is there any adjustment in furniture yes so leave it just write in the inner column 15000 after furniture you have machinery again leave some line because there is adjustment freehold property what was the amount of machinery 4000 and freehold property is 27000 then goodwill goodwill we have to calculate so just leave it then on the liability side come to creditors there is no adjustment so write directly in the outer column 8000 now bills payable again there is no adjustment so 2000 rupees general reserve we have to distribute and capital account also so take go to the partners capital account by balance brought down what was the balance 40000 30000 40000 and 15000 now let us distribute the general reserve by general reserve what is the profit sharing ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1 and the general ratio general reserve given to us is 5000 so it is 2000 2000 and 1000 okay now after that they are saying uh dinu retires from the firm on 1st april now the assets are to be revalued as let's go to the balance sheet freehold property 
so there is appreciation because it is supposed to be 30,000 now, so outer column is 30,000. So right here appreciation 3,000 okay. and second effect of appreciation will be this side by freehold property. How much is that? 3000. Okay. Next is machinery is 5000. What is the original cost of machinery? 4000. And now it has become 5000. So, add appreciation 1000. Outer column is 5000. And now immediately take it to revaluation account or you will forget by machinery. 1000. Next is uh, furniture 12,000. Let us see the furniture was 15, now it is become 12, so less depreciation. How much is depreciation? 3000. Outer column 12,000. Take it to revaluation account 2 furniture. that is 3000 okay now all debtors are good all debtors are good so debtors was how much 20000 so directly you will write here 20000 outer column okay and the rdd now you have your liability has reduced so by rdd this side 1000 Okay, So, all debtors are good that is done. Now, goodwill of the firm is to be valued at thrice the average profit. So, let us find out the value of goodwill. So, what is the formula for goodwill? Goodwill is equal to average profit into number of years purchase. And what is the formula for average profit? total profit upon number of years. Now, let us find the total profit that is given to us 1000 in the first year plus 10,500 plus 10,000 plus 16,000 and plus 10,000 again divided by number of years is 5. So, your total profit is 9500. Okay, this is your divide by 5, this is your average profit. Now, goodwill is equal to 9500 into number of years is given to you 3. Okay, so, goodwill value is 28500. And what is the value in the balance sheet? 30,000. That means the value of goodwill has reduced by 1,500. Okay. So, here in goodwill you will write 28,500 and the second effect you will take to your revaluation account and you will write here to goodwill since the value has decreased 1,500. Okay. After that, Dinu should be paid rupees 3000 by check and the balance of Dinu account should be kept in business as loan. So, that is all. We have done all the adjustments. Now, let us uh, find out the profit or loss on revaluation first. So, here it will be 5000 and here also 5000. Okay, 5000 minus 4500. So, it is 500. So, write down 2 partners capital. What are the names of partners? Mm, Anu, Renu, and Dinu. Okay. So, total profit is 500. 
so distribute 200 200 and 100 in the profit sharing ratio now this i will transfer it to partners capital account by profit and loss adjustment account 200 200 and 100 okay now let us find out the balance The balance here is 42,200, 32,200 and here it is 16,100. Now same thing here, 42,200, 32,200 and 16,100. So let us find what is the loan and how much is to be paid by a bank. So, bank they are saying that he should be paid rupees 3000 by check. So, it will be to bank account. So, 3000 is being paid by check and whatever is the balance will be the loan account. So, what is his balance? 13,100. Okay. And the others, whatever is the balance will go in to balance carried down. That is 42,200 and 32,200. So, this will go in loan account balance sheet and these two will go in partners capital account, the continuing partners. So, let us finish our balance sheet. What about the bank? Bank we have paid 3000, how much we had earlier 5000. So, now 5000 minus 3000, 2000. Okay. Now, let us write here capital account who are the continuing partners? Annu and Renu. So, what is the capital? 42,200 and here it is 32,200. So, the total is 74,400. And Dinu loan account, the retiring partner is how much we had calculated the loan account? 13,100. Okay, so everything is complete. Now let us find out what is the balance of uh, this total of the balance sheet 97,500 liability side and 97,500 on the asset side. So your balance sheet has tallied. Now this is a 10 mark sum as you will recall, and it is important that you practice it and do it correctly. Okay.